Hello, welcome to Lori's DIY Life. So right now I am getting out the number 26 um, template and instructions. It is two sizes of pop-up diamond cards. Um, I didn't do this yet, right? No. Okay. Yeah, last time we did that one. I wasn't too crazy about that. But some of these are a big, big success, and I love them completely. And then some of them I'm just like, what? <laughs> so let me get a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. And I am in the mood today for some brightness and light. And it's the sun is shining, and it's... In the upper 50s, and I'm not feeling like all dreary and depressed. I sound horrible, but the wind is gone. So, that should improve, hopefully. Of course, with my luck, the wind will start back up again before that happens. So, I'm putting my silicone mat underneath because what I do is I emboss it. I do not use the pencil or pen or whatever because I don't want to have to erase and it's just easier for me to emboss it. And anybody that's been watching my videos on these already knows that, of course, the paper has to go underneath the stencil. That's the only way it works. <laughs> um, so let me just go ahead and trace it and make sure you are following the right lines a lot of your um second from outside lines are for matte and layers so you just want to make sure that you are scoring the right lines or whoops tracing the right line whatever you're doing I hope this yellow is not going to be hard to see. Some are easier than others. I found that textured paper is very easy to see it. Um, I guess because you're messing with the texture. You're messing up the texture. Okay, so we have score line here. And this is a score line. And so this on this side is a score line. This is a score line. So if you're having trouble finding the score lines, you can watch my videos and see which ones I do. Some of them are easier to read than other ones. Some of them get a little bit confusing. I think most of those are the ones with the cut lines. Because you have score lines and cut lines and this line and that line and it gets a little bit busy on there. And this is a square line. I don't know why this stuff just keeps falling. Maybe I'm wiggling the table too much. There's another square line. I hope I got all of those. I got distracted by the falling items. Oh, I already got that. So, so that, 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 that. And then this one is, this one's gonna be really small, I think. I will just do one at a time, but I don't wanna have to come back and trace this, so. That's what we're that's what we're getting here. Two for the price of one. Let 
me see score line. If it takes too long, I won't do the little one. I'll just do the big one. The last video yesterday it was a long video. I was kind of surprised. I thought people would like it, but uh, so far I haven't really gotten that many likes and stuff on it, so I thought it was pretty. <laughs> I liked it. So that should be all of them. Okay. Hopefully. I think I got them all. All right. Yeah, it is kind of hard to see on the yellow. Okay, if I hold it this way, I can see it fine. And I'm just going to go on the score line and cut. Um, and I'm going to cut straight to the end because I don't want to have to deal with the big piece of paper. Which is what I always say when I have to do these. Not when I have to, but when I'm doing these. I've actually gotten to where I enjoy doing them. And I have to keep asking myself, is it too soon to do another template card? Because surprisingly, some of them I have just liked way more than I thought I would. Um, I guess not surprisingly, but that's the truth. Um, some of them have really surprised me. I've been like, oh... That is pretty cool. So, the one biggest surprise, I think, was the rocker card. I never really... I mean, no, get me wrong. I'm not saying that's my favorite ever, but... Of all of them so far, but... The biggest surprise was the rocker card. I never thought... That would be as cool as it is. And I just love it. And as a matter of fact... <laughs> the rocker card that I made, and I believe... It's a Christmas themed. It's still sitting in my living room. Because, just because I liked it that much. That I have it in my room. Okay, so now this is going to tell us how to fold it. No, it's not. It's just going to tell us to do it. Fold and burnish all the score lines this way. Then... Fold the card base with the diagonal lines as mountain folds and the parallel lines as valley. So these are valley. These are mountain, right? No. These are mountain. These are valleys. One of these days I'll get it right. So like this, and then that's going to come up like this, and then we're going to fold these down again. Nice. Not too complicated. And there it is, all folded up. Now it's supposed to fold to, let's see, this says um, three and a half by five. So we have not quite three and a half by five. So, I don't know, did I fold something wrong? Is this, no, this stands up, look, it stands up nice. See, that is cute, cute, cute. All right. Um, 
Would somebody that doesn't know know how to unfold it? Well, I guess they're going to go, oh, oh, oh. So, um, it's really weird because it tucks down into itself. And that's a little weird. There. Like that. So the ones that go on the inside part, I don't know if I would fold and mat those. They might not fold in so neatly anymore. Once you do that. So, but then if you don't mat and layer it, then what? Hmm. All right, let's do the little one. I want to see how little, as small as that one is, I want to see how little this little one is. And that was real quick to do, and we can do some map layers if we want. Oops. I thought that was the end. That's not the end. So what this does is if you've got the library and you want to check out, um, seeing me fold it up again, then you can in the small, in this small one. Yikes, I am not cutting this straight at all. This is going to be all kinds of wonky. Okay. So we're just going to start folding, folding. These are going to be mountains. And this is going to be a valley. Valley, mountain, just make a big mountain on the side. Okay, these are going to come up and that's going to go down and that's just not scored real well to that point. And there's that. Now we've got the same thing. And this is more square. Now how does that happen? What is this size supposed to be? It's supposed to be, yep, three and a half by three and a half. So, a little, little square, three and a half by three and a half. I really, you know, I thought it was cute. Now I'm looking, I'm like, is it cute? <laughs> oh my goodness, let's see. We've got mats and layers. Yeah, we got time because it's still it's still early. I mean, it's not early, but it's um, here. Oh, nope, that ain't gonna work. I thought that was bigger than it was. Here's a paper pad. What do we want to use? We need. Oh, these pink roses, and see, I'm not a huge, huge rose person, but that's okay. Look, we'll have that to do. Oh, this, where did this come from? I'm going to use these two also, I think. There's only two there, right? Yep. This came from, was it the Christmas? Thing or, or what was it? I don't remember now. I think it was the Christmas because see the Christmas paper.
Okay. Well, so let's see. We've got to decorate two panels and then a center. So I think this can be a panel, right? This can be the panel and this, I don't know. That's not gonna work. This might be better as panels. This might need to be the panel. Yep. All right, so we'll do this as the panels. Let me, maybe we could get it all on here. Panel. Yikes. Come on, paper. Maybe we can do it all on here. I do want to emboss the whole thing just in case. So we need two of the panels. to this other side and get this one. Uh-oh. I have to... I'm worried about trying to move it forward and not messing it up. There we go. Okay, and then that we have the big mountain layer in the middle. So let's do that, the big one. It's ripping the paper doing this. That's the big one, huh? Yeah. Okay. Let's see the side panels. Right, side panel. Okay. Let's glue it on here real quick. Where is my glue? Glue, 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 here it is. I'm gonna need the paper, of course. Okay. So this is gonna go here.
you know, I am finding that I am not so crazy about their sizes, other mats and layers in this. Um, it just seems so big. You know, the, um, the distance between the sizes seems so big. So I guess, you know, not really, don't know how you could get around that, but some of these shapes are so odd. I mean, I want to say, just cut around that shape bigger, but I don't know that that would be that easy to get it right, you know, but see, even this just doesn't. It's just an awkward, awkward shape. So, there's just so much space. It's just such a big mat layer. Now, the other thing it gives is these. Two of these. And you would have to have really... Yeah, two, four of them. That's not going to fit on here. But I can use this. So this paper feels kind of thick. I'm just going to do the same one because they're really just the same. Um... Now, with some of these, because like I was saying about the size of their mat and layers, some of them I have just cut the shape out. You know, just cut where the score line is. Just use that. So, you know, you can do that. course I'm not going to mat and layer the other one because it's basically the same thing. I mean it's just that it's square and the pieces are going to be smaller. Boy, this one. There we go. There's where I can see it. No, I guess you would, you would need eight of these, eight of them. And if I really wanted to squeeze it, I could have got probably four on each one of these sheets. Of course, I didn't push it. Wasn't thinking. Oh, I see. So these actually are made for here. But my thought was that they would also fit here. But see, no, they don't. They don't fit there. So you're not supposed to mat layer that, I guess. Which, I don't know if that makes sense. I guess it would depend on what your background um, color was. For this one, of course, with this yellow. Yeah. Not a great idea. Flatten that thing back out. Get them layers on there. All it's going to do is fold back up. That's not going to be an issue. I did it wrong because now I got one going one direction and one going the other direction. And I would, wasn't paying attention to the fact that that paper is actually directional. So here we go. There we go. 
that's how it is. And then they fold it and open it. And there's what they got. And you got something here for them. And it should all work. All right. So there we go. And of course, the two sizes. So, you know, basically the same thing. But this is a square. A little bit cuter, I think. I like the square shape. Which amazes me, but I do. I like that square shape. So, number 26. Two sizes of pop-up diamond cards. Alright, if you like my videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you'll join me again. Bye-bye now.